we are here with Mighty Marvel Geek, um, a podcast. Can you tell us a little bit more about uh, your podcast, please? Um, Mighty Marvel Geeks, we talk all things Marvel, uh, whether it's comics, collectibles, games, TV, movies. Lego. Lego. Yeah. Yeah. We'll even talk Lego. It is another issue of Mighty Marvel Geeks. We have the fine gentleman from Keeping with the Geek Bros. If they're going to blame someone, we're going to be blamed for why they went from a YouTube channel to a YouTube channel and a podcast. The following production is part of the We Be Geeks Podcast Collective. Your station for all things geek. I almost hate to say it, but we're getting close to the end of the show. And, and I think we've had some great dialogue. And, of course, we have fun with, you know, with the game. Um, quickly, guys, tell us a little bit about keeping up with the Geek Bros. Um Obviously, it started because of a certain show at the uh, Star Wars Celebration 2017, the podcast stage. But <laughs> um, no, seriously, though, uh, tell us a little bit uh, about keeping up with the Geek Bros and, and where we could find you guys. And we totally apologize for the fact that we've waited almost until the end of the show to ask this question. <laughs> I mean, well, you tell us, Mike, what did you what did you say to Juan that made him so adamant to say podcast and podcast? And to, 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 I don't to know. To listen to my ear. Uh, no, because no, you can't say nothing, Juan, because you, you never mentioned po- you know. never mentioned podcast once because until after that that, think, uh, because, that panel. Never because once we gave him stuff. Pretty much, but actually, he, I, it was the first person that I knew that was doing a podcast that I met in person. I'm like, hey, how do you get this started? He said, hey, I have a server. You, this is so simple. I'm like, all right, so let's do it. What's so hard about it? And now we're here. That's basically what's my mind. <laughs> there. Well, that was sitting in a chair when you guys were having a conversation. I was, I was tired. I was wrapped. Well, well, so, we had. I was having. I a actually know that conversation was at the, was at the writers panel. Yeah. Oh, originally, okay. Yeah. Our, Earlier I know, that day, I, I know he. This, I know he wanted to interview you guys. Because Saturday was the Saturday was the comics panel. Yeah, right. So it, that's how it started. I mean, it it, it started at uh, as a uh, trying to keep up with uh, geek news throughout the day and throughout the the week, and it was just so hard to to. Um, yeah, to, when when we so, originally uh, when we originally came up with the brand together, basically I I, I um. I walked into we we uh Juan and I used to work together in the same department. I walked into his uh his um office and I said, Can we turn this little bromance that we have into a web series? Oh let's turn let's turn Geek Bros into a, a brand. And he's like, Yeah, sure, why not? I'm cool. Uh so right when we just started doing the Geek Bros brand, geek culture exploded. It became very, very mainstream and uh, as as one half of of the of the talent and I'm, I'm doing all the production side, I couldn't keep up with all the news and all the different things that are coming out daily, weekly. And so, when 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 uh, when Juan uh, pitched the the podcast to me after I stopped saying no, uh, he basically pitched it as a well, th- this can fill in the gap. So we we will then do the an original recipe web series for the big things, but all the other stuff we just cram it together weekly. And um, I, I don't I still don't remember why. We called it Keep It Up with the Geek Bros. I know it was you come up with the name. Huh? You told me have you never told you the original how it came up? I, I don't know. I don't I know how that happened. To my uh, uh Vanessa with my current wife now. Um she was uh, watching Keeping Up with the Kardashians. I'm like, fine, I'm sorry, I can't keep up with the name. I can't keep up with the name. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep up with the name. I'm like, that's what we're gonna call it. Keeping up with the Geek Bros, bro. Keeping up with the Geek Bros. So think to the Kardashians. That's how the name came out. <laughs> the only reason, the only reason why the name stuck is because the voiceover guy said it really well. I was like, all right, that sounds good. We're good. All right, keep it well, on, it, bros. It, it's like with Weeby Geeks, how that came about. I mean, we had a guy at work uh, who originally was supposed to be part of the show, and he always says Kapow. <laughs> uh, we're going to call we're going to call ourselves the Kapow Show or the Kapow Podcast. <laughs> and, and then we went and looked, and it's like. There's someone who already has it. I'm like, well, oh, okay. what yeah. are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? 
I said, well, you know, we're geeks. Why don't we put a spin on Toys R Us and we be geeks? Oh, nice. nice. So that's how. So if you look at we be geeks, the word be, the letters are backwards, just like right. in Toys R Us. Yep. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, see, see. That's where it all came from. Mighty <laughs> Marvel Geeks, I it's just it sounded right. And I took the G off of it on purpose because I I knew I was like, you know what? What if one day they decide to just say like, oh, you guys are trying to copy us though. So I took the G off on purpose. I kept in up with the Geek Bros. Kept in with the keeping up with the Geek Bros. So that's how name can can be. And then the podcast just took its own its own little uh Monster became its own little thing. It 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 it's a mix of video game stuff, pop culture stuff, geek news. It's a mix of everything. It's just not one day that it's always going to be the same. Yeah, specials, holiday specials, it's, convention yeah, specials. I, I'm just, um, I'm just gonna say when when Jason and I were or I asked Jason about this, he goes, Juan just said that whole day we got to be at the podcast stage. We got to do the podcast stage. No matter what, we got to be at the podcast stage. I don't care what else we got to do, but we got to be at the podcast stage. I'm like, <laughs> okay, why? Because you got to ask Juan. That's why I asked. Yeah, Juan. That's right. Because right. so, it's, oh, so it's like, you know what? Let me, let me, uh, let me show, let me see what the, sh- what, you know, what podcast is about. And then your, your show actually made my, my dream come true and have my own, uh, podcast. <clears> with, yeah. Like, uh, and then we even uh, then we even uh, took a page out of you guys' uh, book and and we did our own live panel and it, it Star Wars Celebration Chicago. I saw, I, and that I was, actually watched that replay of that. Yeah. That was the single greatest moment for this podcast, and we were just like, "Wow, we're we're up here, we're live, we have an audience, we have people watching us live." We gave away um, uh, uh, gifts. We had audience participation. And we left there with a grin. We were we were higher life, and you know that was a combination of of going from yeah, I don't really want to do this. I, I'm not set up for audio. To uh, yes, yes, come to the Geek Bro Chicago. It was it was <laughs> it was a oh, very surreal. Problem. It was surreal. <laughs> I mean, see, it, that's it was, how we felt at uh, yeah. Celebration Orlando. Man, I mean, I, I said I, you know I, it, it doesn't matter how many people are here, we're gonna have a good time with this. Exactly. And, Mm-hmm. And I think there was what at, at most sixteen people in, in our panel. Considering all the all the hurdles thrown at us, or all the obstacles, such as Star Wars Insider and their freaking iPad, and the, <laughs> and the Disney event, um, I will say the sixteen people we had mm-hmm. that was great. I mean, I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think if we were earlier in the day, we may have had more people. And yeah. if we had the same sixteen people, I still would have been awesome. True. Yeah. I will. I will say yeah. that uh, I. I. Uh, I was. I'm. I'm the youngest in the group. Um, I'm a fanboy turned host. Um, I actually started watching from their Star Wars, all the way. Oh, you uh, did? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I. You know, Lewis put me onto it, so I, I. I started watching from there and all the way on and. Then he was like, why don't you make comments? Why don't you send an email? Say something, you know, you have a lot to say. You're, you're, you're integrated into the culture. Just say something. So that's where my uh, dissertation started coming out. Yeah. And, yeah. um, three, four, five paragraphs long emails <laughs> that, that I, that I would have to read, that I'd be reading and, uh, flubbing up through lies. And eventually I was just like, oh, you, we're just going to bring him on. He could just say, yeah, yeah. Comments this, you, you know what? Stop sending out these long emails. Just start saying them for yourself on, you know, on yeah. live. And, uh, and then yeah. apparently, our 100th episode. Yeah. yeah. And then, so, uh, they, they, they apparently liked me, I guess. And here I still am. I'm, been part of the team and uh, and I'm happy to be here and uh you know I uh, I'm I'm just glad that that I was given the opportunity because this is this has helped me cope with 2020 yeah. <laughs> oh, see, 2020 yeah. is going to become the synonym for outhouse rat crazy from <laughs> now on yes I, I, and I, I think it's funny the inspiration that we gave the original crew of keeping with the geek bros Keeping up with the Geek Bros led to man coming on the show. Yep. Because of that same inspiration. Yep. 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 So and you never know. Which is awesome. You never know who y'all are going to be inspiring next. That's true. That, yeah. it's, like, it's like paying it forward. It's very interesting. Exactly. 
And and I never thought we would have in you know initially inspire someone to do a podcast. And then come find out after inspiring you guys, I've had between either Weeby Geeks or even Wookie Radio have helped inspire other people to do shows as well. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that to me, that's what makes makes me makes our shows a successful show is someone said, Hey, listen to your show and that inspired me to do my own. Yep. I, I get those that same, right there is the success. I get those yeah. same comments and emails like, Oh my God, man, I, I watch you guys, you know, cause, uh, I'm, I'm on a, you know, two of them with, with Jason and, <clears throat> and I, I get the same thing. Like I watch you guys, I watch both the ones that you guys do and, you know, me and my significant other were thinking about doing it and I watch you guys and I'm like, maybe I can do this. If he can do it, what's stopping us? And I said, the first thing about doing anything new is just to do it. Yes. Yes. Just do it. Once you get in there, once you do, once you get your feels out there, everything, everything comes out. And you have no idea where it leads because I'm, because I'm very clear without Juan meeting you guys, and insisting on making a podcast, thus insisting me to upgrade my facilities to be able to, to produce a podcast, uh, led to my own brand producing three additional podcasts afterwards. So an entire wing of po- I would have never done podcasting had it not all gone all the way back to that initial meeting, uh, so the Star Celebration in Orlando. So it's true. You, you never know where it's going to go. Podcasting now is, is fantastic for me. I love it. It's great. Well, it's it's, it's blown up for everybody. everybody. Yeah. So see what you started, Juan. Yeah. I know, like, <laughs> that's, 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 like without that, yeah. From 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 you plant grow, a seed and you don't know and you, where it's you have grow. no idea, and it went to another one and another one and another one, and and it producing other people's own, and I'm just like, yeah, I can. Uh, audio production is is not that bad. All right, I can do this. Mm-hmm. So well, to point out where it's, it's yeah, it's now two thirds <laughs> of my production is is podcasting and audio production as opposed to uh, being what I was a video editor, a video producer. So. I mean, well, listen. I used to. I, I watched everything, and I and and you know, listened to everything from my phone. And after getting involved, I bought a mic. I bought a little stupid oh, little yeah, light yeah, here. Yeah, he's getting up. Yeah. yeah, he's getting upgraded I, too. I I, I I I upgraded my whole thing from my little cell phone. I got my little little computer. I got everything going on here, and I was like, this is actually. Like I, I feel this. Like this is this is <laughs> this is a part of me now. Like it's, it's yes. there's there's yeah. a me that's just like it wants to come out, and I'm just like let's do this, man. Like uh, let's just keep it going. I'm so like yeah. engaged and energized. Like I'm I love it, you know. And then and and when Jason and Juan were like, oh, let, you know, we have Mike that wants to invite us on this, and I was like, let's do it. Let's do. It. I'm I'm all for it. Um, I'm working. I'm sorry. And, and the amazing <laughs> thing is, you look back on how you were before all this mm-hmm. madness started mm-hmm. you know it's like it, and you go like i can't believe that it was like that i can't believe that i had that i wasn't really excited about this to start with or yeah you know just, just to, to use my Absolutely. own experience here with mike it's kind of like i really didn't think i would get 10 issues in let alone 250 something wow. yeah. yeah yeah so I mean, it's well i mean because I, I, well when i came on i had just been doing a doing what i i had been on a podcast for like six months and 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 then mike had invited us invited me and uh, the uh another guy that i do a podcast with um ken he invited us on for this show, and then, uh, and I was like, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. <laughs> you know, like, like, you know, oh, Marvel. Okay, I can talk Marvel. You know, it's, uh, been reading it since I was five. See, okay. we, we we still don't know what we're doing. <laughs> I, I was about to say, how, how is this different? Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, after the first one, I was just like, oh, wow. Okay, that 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 was cool. And then was it like a week or somewhat within a week or whatever, Mike, Mike and Eric contacted me and they're like, hey, do you want to do this full time? Like, would you like to go come on full time? And I'm like, I was like, <laughs> 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 it, was, it, was, it was like the time when I met um, Billy D. Williams at Border City Con 
And he says, he, he looks at me, he says, you want to come back here and take a picture? And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> he's all over. He's like, oh, and oh, she goes, oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, then also the only thing was, I, and I could have sworn a Colt 45 just popped up in my hand. I felt like it did. I don't know, but that's what, that's what it felt like. <laughs> And now, like, if I, I don't want to go back and listen to myself five years ago, because, <laughs> you know, but I, I but uh, like Eric, I couldn't imagine spending my Thursday nights doing anything else. I, I just oh. can't. And I'll be honest with you, 2020, I needed this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I will so. tell you guys, too, the latest show that. I inspired is actually the show that my daughter and I are doing Ooh. because she said, daddy, I want to do a." She was talking over summer. She goes, daddy, I want to do a podcast, but I don't know. I'm a little scared and I'm not ready. I said, well, when you're ready, you let me know. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, dad, September, we're doing the show. All right. Well, okay. So, so we, we started our own show and because of that, uh, she told me in November that, hey, Dad, you know, we're getting all these toys from different toy review, you know, to do toy reviews and whatnot. I want to do a toy drive. Oh, wow. Okay. So now we're starting our own toy drive. Wow. So, so you talk uh, about the inspiration coming from. Yeah. And, from and, so, and Zoe had, and Eric knows Zoe has such a giving heart. So for her Sounds to do like this it. toy drive, it, it, it's. I, I I am very blessed that's, to have her and very proud. That's beautiful. Of her. So, awesome. um, any any quick final thoughts before I gotta shut this thing down? <laughs> I can't believe we're here. Yes. Yep. Yes. Thank, you, thank, you, yes. thank you so much for letting one of my visions come to light, and I appreciate it. It's a good thing, you know. Even though I left in uh for a year due to some you know a lot of issues, you know, mental health and all that good stuff, I'm here back, and I want to appreciate for you know for for giving people the voice to talk and you know feel feel good with their homies and friends and it's just a good 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 way good avenue to to be able to vent to be able to just let go share stories feel your opinion yeah. especially when you know opinions and your words are being blocked this isn't a way for us to be able to talk and no one having to put their a tape in our mouth or hand over our mouth so it's a great great feeling and Thank you, Mike, for allowing us to be here. Oh, it's our pleasure. And, you know, it's one of those, uh, I I know it's that way on this show. Hopefully it's that way with you guys as well. Everyone can have, you guys can have a difference of opinion, but everyone respects that opinion. Uh, It doesn't hold it personal with you. And I'm not sure if I'm heading in the, the right direction that I want to be heading. I, I, I just I, want to say I hate everything Jason says. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you too, buddy. I hate you too. <laughs> <laughs> but but I'm, I'm sure you guys kind of understand what I mean. I mean, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, one person says the sky is blue and the other person's going, no, it's green. And it's like, okay, cool. Third person's going, the sky is orange and both of y'all are idiots. But no, I respect what y'all feel. So. Yeah, you, you get that vibe. That's what yeah. makes a good show. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm just glad that I've made it all this time without calling you a chowder head. And <laughs> no, I think that's a it, it's a personal milestone. <laughs> <laughs> it's chowder. <laughs> You're not chowder. from Boston. Chowder. Your cousin from Boston. <laughs> uh, so on that note, oh, no. I'm oh, just gonna oh, I'm just gonna say uh, uh, Thursday, if you would please. All wrapped up here, sir. Will there be anything else? No, uh, I'm just going to see everyone on the flip side. Look, I'm sorry about that little show back there, but we thought it best to break it to you slowly.
<laughs> and that's a wrap.